The 2024 fire season in Wyoming grabbed headlines for weeks in the state. Fires touched nearly all corners of Wyoming. And while fire in many cases serves as a regenerative effect on the landscape, some wildfires this year have caused concerns with habitat biologists that long-term damages could result to important components of the landscape, particularly sagebrush. It's estimated that well over 500,000 acres burned in Wyoming in 2024, a major part of that on private lands, but also on Forest Service or Bureau of Land Management lands. Wyoming Game and Fish Wildlife Habitat Management Supervisor Ian Tater. Uh, one thing that we're really concerned about is the loss of sagebrush. Sagebrush is really important for, uh, for a lot of critters in Wyoming, such as sage grouse, pronghorn, mule deer. Many of the fires burning in eastern Wyoming have taken out uh, some of that sagebrush component, and so we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to try and return sagebrush to the landscape. Sagebrush plants in much of Wyoming are old and decadent. Game and Fish employs a range of improvement options, such as fire, mowing, and aerating to spur sagebrush growth with a strategy to create mosaics of sagebrush and grasses, something that these fires prevented. A big concern is the emergence of invasive grasses like cheatgrass, replacing sagebrush and native grasses. Sagebrush takes quite a while to get established. It really struggles to get established under certain conditions. We need the right moisture uh, regime to come through at the right time. Uh, it, it doesn't do well uh, under intense competition uh, with invasive annual grasses like cheatgrass. We've invested uh, a lot of time, energy, and resources into treating uh, things like cheatgrass throughout the state. And so this, is, this will be another opportunity to uh, strategically try and um, improve those conditions and, and remove cheatgrass by aerially spraying where, where appropriate. For now, Game and Fish is reaching out to landowners, conservation districts, and federal land agencies to assist with things like fencing for landowners whose fences were destroyed, ensuring wildlife can access areas not burned, and, potentially, sagebrush seeding down the road. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.